Recently, a federal court in the United States dismissed a lawsuit brought by the families of three Americans who were killed overseas in drone strikes. In this video, we'll discuss why the court dismissed the case. The name of the case is Aulaki v. Panetta, and it was decided in April 2014 by a federal court in Washington, D.C. Understanding this case will help you understand what a Bivens action is, and will also help you understand the principle of government separation of powers. Mr. Awalaki was a citizen of the United States, and he was also a citizen of Yemen. In the United States, it's possible to have dual citizenship, so you can be a citizen of America at the same time that you are a citizen of a different country. Our story begins in February of 2010. At that time, officials who worked for the President of the United States determined that Mr. Awalaki was a dangerous terrorist and that the United States should kill him. Officials working for the President of the United States also informed certain members of Congress that they had made the determination to kill Mr. Awalaki. On September 30th, 2011, Mr. Awalaki was killed. He was killed in Yemen by a missile fired from a drone. The family of Mr. Awalaki and other Americans who were killed in Yemen brought a lawsuit against government officials. The type of lawsuit they brought is called a Bivens action. In a Bivens action, the plaintiff alleges that federal officials violated his constitutional rights. The family alleged that the use of lethal force against Mr. Awalaki was unconstitutional. The family said there should have been an appropriate legal procedure before the decision was made to kill Mr. Awalaki. The judge in the case rejected the family's argument. The judge dismissed the case and ended the lawsuit against the federal officials who ordered the death of Mr. Awalaki. The court based its decision on the principle of government separation of powers. The federal government in the United States is divided into three branches. The three branches are the legislative branch, which includes Congress, the executive branch, which includes the President of the United States and his staff and agencies, and finally, the judicial branch, which includes the federal courts. Separation of powers tells us that no branch is more important than any other branch of government, and that each branch has its own responsibilities and powers. Each branch of government should be careful to not interfere with responsibilities and powers reserved for other branches of government. The judicial branch should avoid interfering in areas of responsibility reserved for the executive branch and the legislative branch. The court in Mr. Awalaki's case observed that foreign policy, war, and national defense are normally areas reserved for the President of the United States and Congress, but not the courts. The court in Mr. Awalaki's case was concerned that judges should not interfere with military planning. If the other branches of government made the decision to use a drone strike against a terrorist overseas, the court should not interfere. According to the judge, the judicial branch should not interfere with the war and national defense decisions made by the executive and legislative branches. Because of the principle of government separation of powers, the court dismissed the Bivens action. What do you think? Do you agree with the court's decision? If you'd like to discuss this, come by the message board or visit my blog. Also, feel free to send me an email or put your comments below.